call me Arse Mayo. And sometimes mayonnaise. <laughs> Don't forget, comment your jokes down below because they're getting absolutely terrible. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. A lot of people have been asking how you can change what your buttons do on your remote. So in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can remap your buttons to do different things. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so first of all, what I will say is I am using the Mi Cool KM2 for this video, but this will work the same on any Android TV device, especially like your Nvidia Shield. So anybody can follow along exactly the same as in this video. Right, so if I drag me down here, it's an app called Button Mapper. A lot of you may have heard of it previously, and if I open up Button Mapper, this is what it looks like. To install it, it's very simple, Google Play Store. Opening Google Play Store. Thank you. As you can see, if we go into the Google Play Store, Button Mapper. Tool Mapper. I'll type it in instead. I just typed in Button, as you can see, Button Mapper. It's available in the Google Play Store. It's asking me to update, so I'll do that quickly. Once it's finished, I'm going to go back home. To add it to the home screen, it's obvious you already know what to do. So once I open up Button Mapper, it's going to come up like this. You've got Home button, Back button, Menu, Volume buttons, and then you can also add buttons. You've got Troubleshooting and more options and then some more stuff we're not really going to go into. One thing with the Mequal devices, especially the KM2, which I'm using at the moment, you've got four quick keys at the top being YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video and Google. Now, if I go to Add a Button... And then be careful which button you do change, because this will change what that button does. So make sure the essential buttons stay the same. But if I click on add buttons and I click, I want to change the prime video button. If I click on that, for some reason, it chucks you straight into the app. So on this device and possibly the other Mequal devices, you're not going to be able to adjust or change the actual quick keys that open apps but you can do it on the likes of the NVIDIA Shield. But on the KM2, I've got a couple of buttons I want to use differently. There's a live TV button and also a bookmarking button. So I'm going to click on add button and then add buttons and then I'm going to click on that live TV button. Keep saying button. I do apologise if you've got a phobia of somebody saying button because I'm guessing this isn't a nice experience for you. Don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> so that live TV one, it's come up as guide. So when I click on that... I don't want to get the premium or pro, it's not needed. You can customise it and then you can make this button do three different things. So on a single tap, I could open up one app. On a double tap, I could open up IPTV. And on a long press, I can open up such as Downloader. So the apps that you use most, you can have them all configured to one button. So on a single tap, you can have different actions, but you can also choose applications. And then you've got shortcuts, system, media, and advanced. On media, one that might appeal to a lot of people is having a play pause button on there. Because on the Netflix remote, it hasn't got one. But I'm going to make the same button launch three different apps. So if we go to applications, the first one, I'm just going to choose all four. And then for double tap, I'm going to choose Anality. And then for the long press, I'm going to choose with I'm going to choose Downloader. So I've got three different apps assigned to this one button, which is the live TV button. If I click on home, bear in mind as well, once you customize that button, it'll no longer do what it did previously. So bear that in mind before adjusting. So if I click on that live TV button now, it opens up all four. I'm going to click on the home button. I'm going to double press. And now it should open Anality like it does there. Back home. And now I'm going to long hold. And then it should open Downloader. There you go. So three functions all from one button. Now, obviously, if I could show various different apps, then that live TV button would direct me to my live TV apps. But as we know, YouTube don't like that sort of thing. If I go back into Button Mapper, if you want to do, you can delete that as well, and then it'll get rid of all that customization. You can add other buttons. So if I add that bookmarking button, which I never use, you can go into that. No thanks once again. You can customize it, and then there you go. You can add all them. 
And then if you no longer want that customization on those particular buttons, you can either delete it with the bin on the right or go back in and just turn off customization and it'll no longer do it. And something I quickly want to show you as well, if you use a Bluetooth or a USB remote, such as the Wii chip I've got here, a lot of people like these because of the air mouse it's got. I'll leave a link down below if you want to look at it. If I go into button mapper, add a button, and I want the menu button to have some different features. So I'll click on that, it says menu, once again, open it up, customize. If we want to leave that as the menu, what we can do is go into show, no actions, go down, show menu. So then that button stays the same, but then I can also add a double tap. If I want to add this as a play pause button, we can just click on that and then there you go. So it does work with other remotes as well that you've got paired up. So I tried to keep this video short and sweet. A lot of people were asking about, especially me cool devices, how you can customize the buttons. If you find any other app that lets you change the functions of the quick keys, let me know in the comments section. And also, if you find a way how to do it in Button Mapper, let me know as well. Because to be honest with you, a lot of people buying these devices may not use Prime Video or Netflix. So to be able to change those would be very beneficial. That sounded like an intelligent word for me. I would start to say, right. So that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I'll see you soon. Tera! I call my arse. I call me arse, Neo. Neo. So in this video, I'm. 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 <laughs> Bear in mind as well, one shit cut. One shot for either. Then the banner. So I tried to keep this video short and sweet. Do apologise. A bit ignorant, that, weren't it? Now, obviously. Now, obvious, I don't know what I'm saying. What, what do you want me to do? What? <laughs>